And so this is who I think, when 2022 is all said and done, who will be top five at each position. We're going to start with shortstops, and I'm going to bring my producer Conrad back out here. So let's get going. Coming at number five, the wonder kid, Wander Franco. Yeah, I like him a lot. Now, Wander Franco came into the league last year and really took the world by storm. He, he became um, the youngest player to have the, the longest consecutive on base streak. He tied that record. Um, this guy's really good. He does it all. He had 20 bombs in his short time in the big leagues last year. He steals bases. He's fast. He plays good defense. I think for the foreseeable future, we could see Wander Franco on this list as, the, as a top five shortstop in baseball. Now, when you go and look at the top odds to win AL MVP, he's number five. And the best odds to win MVP, I think he's going to have a really good year. I think we're going to get to see a full season of him, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And I have him at number five on this list. Number four, new high-paid man, Corey Seager. The $300 million man, the Texas Rangers. Um, look, this one's simple. Corey Seager is a stud. He has been for a long time, and he's going to be, whether it be in a Dodger uniform or a Texas Rangers uniform, this guy is one of the best shortstops in baseball. I think he has another really good year. Um, I'm hopeful he can stay healthy the entire year because I think to this point, um, he could have been even better. He's had a couple of years that injuries have plagued him. But Corey Seager is really good, and he's going to be on this Rangers team that's going to be at least more fun to watch. They're not going to be the Dodgers. They're not going to win the AL West, but they're going to be better. Corey Seager is going to be a big reason for that. I have him at number four on this list. And then this year's new shortstop for the Dodgers at number three, Trey Turner. Yeah, from, from one, the previous Dodgers shortstop to the current Dodgers shortstop. I... I like Trey Turner a lot. I've liked his game ever since I played against him in college. When I was at Old Dominion, he was at NC State. We played them in a two-game midweek series, and he stole seven bases in those two games. Seven bases in two games. And he's just continued that on in the big leagues. He steals so many bases. He hits for power. He hits for contact. He plays good defense. I like Trey Turner a lot. He has become one of the best shortstops in all of baseball. He's, he's, he's an all-star. He is so fun to watch. When, when I think of Trey Turner, I think of a guy that's just electric and really fun to watch, from, from stealing bases to sliding into home cooler than anybody else has ever done it to hitting a bunch of bombs. Trey Turner, number three. Coming in number two, we have Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa, the new Minnesota Twins signing. Who? I thought was going to be a $300 million man. He ends up taking a shorter-term deal, but is now the highest-paid MLB infielder in history this season. We all know who he is. We all know he's a stud. Um, he's going to be really good. He's one of the most clutch players in playoff history. I'm not sure the Twins will get there this year, but it's just, it's just all around. It's, his entire game is all around. His defense, his offense, his his arm, it's incredible. And he, in my opinion, this year will be the second best shortstop in the game. Coming in number one, no surprise here, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis. Now, I know he's, he's missing time. I know he's going to miss um, a couple of months because of his surgery. But when he comes back, um, I think he's going to be an absolute force. So statistic-wise, he won't be on the level of these other guys because of the time he's going to have to miss. But once he comes back, I think Tatis is, is the best shortstop in the game. He's young. He's exciting. He is the, the culmination of all of these guys on the list. You look at all of these guys, and you put them together, and you get Fernando Tatis. He rakes. He hits the ball out of the yard. He's exciting. He plays with passion. He plays with a bunch of charisma. He, he has taken San Diego and made it his team, his town. And I'm excited for him to get back because from that period on, he'll be the best shortstop in baseball. So that's my top five best, uh, best shortstops for this year. But I wanted to do a, like, just miss the cut list, a next five up list for shortstops. And now these are in no particular order. 
Okay, these are in no order. So let's go through these. All right, Xander Bogarts. Yeah, Xander. Um, Xander was a tough one to not put on the list just because he he rakes. He's one of the best offensive shortstops. Just defensively, I don't think he's he's on the same level as the other guys. Um, but Xander Bogarts is is certainly a top shortstop in the game of baseball, and I like him a lot. Next, Bo Bichette. More like Flo Bichette. The best flow in the game, am I right? I mean, Bo, in, in my opinion, in the next few years, Bo is going to get on that list of, of, the, of the top five. He just continues to get better and better and better every year. I think he takes another step forward this year, and um, I think hopefully soon we'll be seeing him on that other list. But he is certainly within the top ten. Uh, next up, Tim Anderson. Yeah, I feel like Tim Anderson is a little underrated because he plays on – the White Sox, who aren't the most talked about team in Chicago. Um, but this guy just, you know, I will never forget a moment we saw from him last year, that, that home run in the Field of Dreams game, the walk-off, just the coolest video of all time resulted from that with the fireworks going off in the background. Tim Anderson rakes. That, there's, just, there's just nothing more to be said than Tim Anderson rakes, and he is absolutely on this list. Following, we have Javi Baseball, Mr. Javi Baez. That's right. Javi Baez, the new Detroit Tiger. I think Javi has a good year. Look, with the, let's, take the, let's take a look at the year he had last year. You have Javi Baez with the Cubs, and then you have Javi Baez with the Mets. The Javi Baez with the Mets was great, and he said he figured out a new approach. He was taking a new approach to the box, and it worked out. It paid off, and he's going to take that into this year. I'm not saying he's going to be as good as he was with the Mets, but I think he's certainly going to have a better year altogether than last year, and Javi Baez is going to end up being a top 10 shortstop this year. And then last but not least, Francisco Lindor. Yeah, Lindor um, struggled in his first year in New York. That's no secret. Um, he, wasn't, he wasn't the Lindor that we all know and appreciate, but Mr. Smile, as they call him, he, he is a really good player, and he will continue this year to be the good player that he is. I'm saying last year was an anomaly, and this year he will be back to being a top 10 shortstop in all of the game. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.